Hi, my name is Holger Wiebrach. I'm a 3D artist and technical director. And I work with Cinema 4D for over 10 years professional, a bit longer as a hobbyist. And I've worked for companies like Eichsponsor, Solpix, and um, Goldfox. And I, I work with cinema quite a lot. And I um, always like the tools that we have with Cinema 4D, but I always um, found some things are a bit too complicated or take too much effort. So I very early began to script my own tools, which do some stuff a bit faster than um, the usual workflow. And over the years, I have um, made a big collection of scripts and tools and now I want to um, publish these in the HB modeling bundle. I have polished the scripts, I have added functionality and have rewritten most of them in Python and also I have made these nice icons as you can see. The icons are a lot like the standard cinema icons but um, I have uh, made them so you can easily see what they do. And yeah, I want to tell you a bit about um, the, the um, usage and the idea of the most of the scripts. So basically um, the goal always is to get things done faster. That means, um, I want to do as few clicks as possible. So as an example, um, um, I want to show you some of these main scripts here. These on the top are the tools that you use quite frequently. And these are more the specialty tools which you um, might use very often as well, but these are more the tools you use thousands of times per day, <laughs> like delete or paste or solo. Uh, these are very important and each tool um, works very intelligent. I mean, for example, let's take delete. Um, normally, um, you would hit delete and it deletes the object. That's fine. If you are in comp component mode, like polygon mode, you delete, then the polygons are gone. That's quite simple. But um, this tool, the HB delete, um, does quite a few more things. For example, if you have a um, ring selection, a loop and you hit delete it will delete the uh, ring but if you go to points mode you see it also deletes the points which is not the case with the standard delete another thing if you shift delete this will delete all connected polygons so if you only select one polygon um, this object has four segments, four um, polygon islands. So you can just um, uh, select some polygons, hit shift delete, and this will delete all connected polygons. Usually you would um, need to do double click, shift double click, shift double click, and delete. So. The other thing it does, <coughs> if you have selected a loop, for example, and control click, this will dissolve the loop. So there will not be a gap. So you can um, delete quickly some loops, control click, and this will delete the loops without um, producing holes. So this is the dissolve command you know from Cinema 4D. HB delete uh, works completely different in object mode. So now we have seen what it does in components. But if you're in object mode, 
um, you can do this. So let's say we want to get rid of the um, children of this cube, which is deformed by two deformers. So usually you would go select the object, find it in the object manager, and there's this command, select children. But then you have to be careful because the parent is still selected. So you need to deselect this and hit delete. So with HB delete, this is one single shift click and every children is deleted. Um, on the opposite, um, control click will delete um, the parent without the children. So you can, for example, select some groups here. You have here many, many um, um, null objects which you don't need. So let's select the, these. Now I control click and all null objects are gone. But the objects itself, the children, stay. So it will only um, delete the, the current object without children. So you have with one tool and two modifier keys many options how you delete. So um, that is one example um, how uh, HB modeling scripts um, work. So many of these work with modifier keys and I will show you some more. I want to show you another example how to sweep with HP modeling bundles. So let's say you have the spline and you want to sweep it. So usually this is quite a few clicks. Let's count. So first we click and choose a um, end site because I usually use end sites as profile splines because you can um, you have an even distributed point count and that's better than the cycle, which usually produces way too much polygons. So one click to get the end side. Then we have to make a sweep, which is the second click. Now we have to select these object. Third click. Now we drag them in. Fourth click. Now we select end side, fifth click. Now we choose um, scale tool, six clicks. Now we scale them down. So this is seven clicks just to do one operation. Let's see how that works in HP modeling bundle. So we have the spline and we click and done. And now we can as the, the script already um, selected the profile and choose the uh, scale tool, we can just um, scale the radius and done. So this is one example how you save six clicks for one operation. Um, now an other very important and very much used tool is the HB toggle mode, um, which is basically like the um, components toggle in Cinema 4D. If you select an object and hit enter, it will jump into points mode. If you hit enter again, it jumps into edge mode and so on. So it toggles between these modes. Now, the problem is this is behaving not very intelligent because if you have selected a sweep, for example, and you go to points mode, this doesn't do anything. You don't um, see points because this is a generator. So instead, if you use HP toggle mode, you will see quite a few things. So let's say we want to edit this spline which um, controls um, this sweep. So what we need to do is we select the object, we need to find the object in the object manager. In this case, it's very simple, but usually you would need to find it. 
you need to collapse it, you need to select the spline, then you go to points mode, and then you don't even see the spline because it's hidden inside of the geometry. So you need to turn the sweep off, select some points, move, turn on. So this is again like 10 or so clicks. With HB uh, toggle mode, this is one click. So you select a sweep, and if you toggle, you will see um, all um, points object that are children of the selected object are selected. So the arc spline is selected, and you will see the spline, uh, the sweep object is transparent. And you can see the spline and just edit it. If you go back to model mode, this will reverse everything and done. So this is just another example of these tools, which um, really improve the workflow, because you need less clicks in the object manager, let less clicks in the attributes manager, so you can mainly work in full screen mode like this and um, work in the viewport. And if you assign shortcuts, this is even much faster. Um, HB modeling bundle will come with uh, predefined shortcuts, which you should try because these are really um, a good um, collection of shortcuts which are um, chosen in a way so you need less uh, mouse movement and less um, movement of your fingers. Everything is assigned to the Alt key. So if you use these with the HP shortcut table, that will improve your workflow and you should try it. So this is it for now. Um, in upcoming videos, I will show you each tool which is included in the HB modeling bundle. I hope they will help you and enjoy it. Thanks, goodbye.